Hey, how's everyone doing today? This video is going to be a little bit different um, than most of my other ones. We are going to be talking about the um, two figures, mostly one in particular, but I'm bringing this one in as a comparison. This is the SH Figure Arts Super, or Legendary Super Saiyan Goku figure from SH Figure Arts. Um, I think at this point, everybody already knows and if you don't have a figure or if you don't have this figure do yourself a favor and go get this guy because he's that awesome and he will go up and scale up in price sooner than you think anyways i recommend this figure every to everybody everybody should at least have one of this figure that's how awesome this figure is 3.0 body soft plastic for all the sharp pointy edges and they just really outdid themselves sculpting details Head sculpts, face plates. It comes with two hair sculpts. That's is, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to accessories. And it comes with a peckable blast effect. So that's awesome. I think that's the very first um, peckable blast effect for Goku. For a regular Goku. Uh, I think Super Saiyan 4 had it. But that one was um, the red one. The red um, blast effect. This is the, uh, the blue one. So that's cool. But anyways. Then I started thinking... Um, if this guy right here is the figure of the year for SH Figure Arts, then is there a figure that's that could take that spot for um, Demoniacal Fit? Um, see, when it comes to Demoniacal Fit, I don't buy their figures because they're cheap. No, I buy them if I like them better than Tamashi Nations or if Tamashi Nations has not done one. The only time I will get one if it's cheaper is if the Tamashi Nations one and then the SH, I'm sorry, the SH one and the Demoniacal Fit one are pretty much the same thing or they look exactly the same. One is just SH, which is why it's expensive, and then one is Demoniacal Fit. Um, let me give you a good example of that would be um, Zamasu, right? Zamasu, the SH figure out Zamasu is extremely expensive. Um, and then you have the, um, the demoniacal fit, um, Zamasu, it was called, uh, oh, I can't think of it right now, but that one went for, you know, 50 bucks, 50 bucks compared to like, I don't know, about $150 for an SH one. If the SH one was the one I liked the most, then I wouldn't care about the price on demoniacal fit. I would get the SH one no matter what, if I really liked it. You know, in spite of the price point on Demonical Fit. But because they oops, but because they pretty much look the same, uh, there were small differences here and there. Differences that I actually was okay with. Um, I ended up getting the uh, Demonical Fit one, and I don't have a desire to get the SH one. So that's a perfect example of when I get certain Demonical Fit figures, it's because I like the way theirs came out better than the Tamashi Nations one. Or... Tamashi doesn't have a version of that that they did, you know, like Deep Blue. They didn't have a, a Blue Evolution Vegeta. Nobody has one except them. Awesome figure. Anyways, I started thinking, is there a contender for best figure of the year for Demoniacal Fit? They've definitely gotten better. They definitely gave us a lot of great figures. So only one thing would come to mind and often, and they would. it was this one right here. Demonical fit, martialist forever. Also known as base Goku with a 3.0 body. The very first 3.0 body, and it did not come. I'm sorry. The very first 3.0 body base Goku um, figure. And it came from Demoniacal Fit and not SH Fig Arts. Yes, SH Fig Arts already has a few 3.0 bodies. But they still haven't done a base Goku body yet. And these guys definitely beat them to the punch. And this figure turned out to be a lot more than I expected. And the more I mess with it, the more I play with it, pose it, whatever. It just keeps growing and it keeps growing on me. And... You know, I just bought my second copy. I just ordered it like moments ago, literally. I just locked down my second one uh, from 5K Toys because they just restocked right there. And it was a little cheaper there than it is an Omnime, in case you guys don't know. I think it's like 63 in Omnime and it's like 53 on 5K Toys. So it's like at least $10 cheaper. That's, that's still 10 bucks, right? You can use that for other figures, right? 
Anyways, um, as soon as I saw that restock, I'm like, oh man, this is the perfect time. So I snatched it up right now. I said, I'm getting my second one right now. I'm at least, I was happy with one, but this turned out to be such a great figure that, and you can use them for so much customization that I needed a second body. And I'm using my second body for Gohan. I want to put the ultimate Gohan head from SH on this body so I can have a, a, a orange gi Gohan with a 3.0 body. So definitely got that and i'm so happy i locked down my second copy but anyways like i said if there's to be a figure of the year for demonical fit i would say it's definitely this one right here martialist forever aka base goku with a 3.0 body do not sleep on this one if you don't like demonical fit that's fine but if you collect that and you can appreciate it and you know you've been you're already familiar with demonical fit and you haven't gotten this figure, I definitely highly recommend this base Goku 3.0 body. It is definitely that awesome. Don't sleep on it. This, in my opinion, and this is only my opinion, it's okay to disagree with me. If you have a different opinion, if you have a different figure that you would consider a figure of the year. Like I said, they had a lot of great ones. But I think this one is the one that stands out the most because it's a 3.0 body. Number one. Number two, the QC is not an issue with this figure like there's nothing wrong with this i i don't have loose anything i don't have anything that's too tight i didn't have to oil up anything i didn't have to you know do anything to this figure it's great just as is you bust them out the box and you're good to go which is the way great figures should be right like they really should be like that anyways this right here is in my opinion the figure of the year for demoniacal fit you know, the dark horse, if you will, um, definitely um, worth having in your collection if you collect third party figures. If you don't, that's fine. If you want to stick to SH, that's OK. There's nothing wrong with that either. But if you do and you can appreciate third party, definitely don't sleep on this guy. He's definitely that badass. Anyways, that's it for me. That's it for today. I wanted to put that out there because. You know, as a collector, um, there was a lot of things that weren't um, told to me or I didn't find out until later. And this is one of those things that I feel like I should put out there so that everybody knows that this is definitely, I'm going to say, a figure that is definitely worth having from Demoniacal in your collection. And if you don't collect Demoniacal fit, I'm going to say take a chance on something like this. Take a chance on this guy. If you're going to pick one, if, you, if you're a little skeptical or on the fence and you're thinking you want to try it out, try this guy out. You will not regret it. Anyways, these are all just my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.